So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. And you'll see here, start new project. Now, okay, your default environment setting is, v is C sharp projects. C sharp with the pound sign, the sharp sign, the tic-tac-toe, the hashtag, the number sign. I know what it is. Oh, okay, just double check. Continue here. Let me continue. Okay, so once if you don't have this right away, so what we're going to do is a console application. So we're going to do, I'm going to cl click new project. I want it to be a console application because we're just going to do a standard uh, window, little, we're just practicing programming, so we're not too concerned. So it's under templates, visual C sharp windows, console application, be sure to choose the location that you are working on. So I'm going to browse to that. Can I recommend you just double check on Git Bash? Where is the master that you're working on? And so, because for some strange reason, I added six programming instructions folder and then another one. Grr. By the way, the cool thing is when you're done, you can actually clean this up and you can clone the repository into wherever folder you want. Okay, this is the right folder, and I'm going to click select folder. And then length of the, oh, no, 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 no. No. Okay. Don't do what I do. Now, there's a solution for this. There is a solution. Check this out. Yeah, I know. You're laughing at me. No, you said you just launched Skynet. And I said, oh, God. Oh, I launched Skynet, did I? Oh, right. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. I knew it was going to start at some point. I just didn't know I had anything to do with it. No wonder that John Connor guy keeps bugging me. All right, anyway, so I have a solution here, guys. Hey, listen up. So obviously I have this problem, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Bitbucket and take a look. You see this, six programming instructions? All I need to do is get a clone of my commits, of my source, which has just a git ignore file and a git file. But if I click on clone... I can copy this command, copy, and I can go into any folder I want. And when I add that command with git bash, it will actually clone the repository into that folder. Okay, so now I can go back a folder or two, start a new folder, shorten the length of it, clone into that folder, and then I'll just, I'll just delete the other one when I'm done and just work on that other folder that isn't so deep in. And it's my fault for coming up with these big, long folder names. Shame on me, Mr. 100 Visions guy. All right, so watch what I do. So now I'm going to go back, Visual C Sharp Projects. I'm going to create a new folder, and we'll call it Six Instructions. Okay. Now I'm going to get the path to that, and I'm hoping this is going to be shorter. I'm going to test it out and see if it works. If it doesn't, then you, you, we can just do this as many times as we want until we get it, but I'm not going to record it. So I'm going to do a CD, single quote, add my path. Shorter path, right? Now, I am going to try that command, the clone command, and see if it works. If it doesn't work, it means I just need to do it in it, which I don't know if I have to do that first or not. So I'll try it this way. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to initialize the folder and then do it. Cloning. Good. That's a good sign. It's cloning. So a clone is just a copy. I get my password. Since it's a private repository, it needs it. And guess what? My new folder, six instructions, that one has a copy of everything. Let's take a look at it. So that's called cloning, and I didn't even know I'd get to cloning today. I want to be a clone. All right, six instructions. That's it. Oh, come on, really? All right, let's see if this works. I don't know if this is going to work because look. Oh, I know what I can do. I'm going to fix it by putting it right in my Visual C Sharp project because notice it added the six programming instructions folder. So let me backtrack here one more time. I'm going to blow these folders out. Will it let me? Maybe, maybe not. Deleting. Okay. I think I have to close this window. Eset. Exit. Come on. There we go. Log. Yeah, okay. I blew it. 
I, I have my repository, and the problem is, if I clone this, I'm going to get that folder called Six Programming Instructions. So all I have to do now is just go into my Visual C Sharp projects and then basically clone that folder. Okay, so I grab my clone command. Clone is just copying it, right? Attack of the Clone Wars, you saw that. They were all clones. They all look the same, right? It was all like, what's his name? Oh, wait, I don't want to give it away. Spoilers. Okay, so I go back to get Bash. Got to get it open. Here's get Bash. CD, single quote. I got to get my folder path. Visual C Sharp Projects. Copy. Right click. Edit, paste. Single quote. Enter. And now I'm going to clone directly here. Edit, paste. Oh, wait, wrong one. Sorry. Sorry. So once I'm in the right folder, in order to clone, you just click clone here. It gives you the git command. Copy that there. Go in here. There it is. Put in your password. You're golden. You got your golden ticket. Put my password in. Remote counting objects. There were nine objects. They're all in my folder. I go back to the original folder. And now when it... Visual C Sharp Project, six programming instruction practice. This is where I'm going to add my Visual Studio project. So I go back to Visual Studio, and I hope it's going to like it this time. New project, browse. Click select folder. Oh, come on. All right, now I'm in big trouble. Well, I'm going to stop recording this. Okay, I'm on to tip number three. And so I'm at the big board again. Okay, so anyway, I finally went directly into my student folder. It finally liked it. So I'm going to name it BMI Space Calculator, and I'm going to make sure Create Directory for Solution is checked. Now I'm going to click OK. And finally, it worked. So the lesson that can be learned in this is do not name your repository a big, long, herking name, and you will have so many fewer problems. Or don't work on a network environment, which you may or may not have the option to do so. Oh, well, I think I'm good now. Thank you very much. Good night.